There's been several questions being asked about if fasting needs to be done differently amongst women and men. Well, looking at the biochemical makeup differences of men and women, we can see that the hormones and sex organs do make just enough difference to definitely consider having women fast differently than men. Hi, I am Dr. Legrand. Welcome to my fasting channel. If you are looking for a channel that talks all about fasting and health tips, fasting science, and research, you have come to the right place. And should hit the subscribe button to keep it locked here on the Dr. Legrand Show every Tuesday and Thursday at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. In this video, I'm going to talk about how should women fast differently than men and why. I will go over the female biochemical physiology and why fasting needs to be done differently. I will also go over the research that is provided about fasting for women and why it is important to do intermittent fasting differently than men. Fasting is exceptionally popular today, not only helping people reduce the fat content in their bodies, but also contributing to a lower risk of heart disease as well as type 2 diabetes. On the other hand, some people have adverse effects, and most of these events are found among women who try out a popular intermittent fasting technique. With this in mind, studies have started to look at how fasting affects men and women differently. It has now been found that intermittent fasting may cause unusual changes in women's menstrual cycles, along with other potential complications. Here we take a look at some concerns regarding fasting for women, and how the program should be modified to allow women to reap the benefits without risking their health. Fasting essentially involves calorie restriction during specific periods of time. Thus, in order to understand how the female body is affected by fasting, we should really consider what happens to a woman's body when she restricts calories too much. Studies have shown that weight loss efforts that cause too much stress on the body along with the addition of calorie restriction and exercise programs can lead to a condition called functional hypothalamic amenorrhea in women. What this condition does is it impairs the body's ability to adequately secrete gonadotropin releasing hormone. The complication here would be the reduction in the secretion of both follicle stimulating hormone and luteinizing hormones. Both of these hormones play crucial roles in reproduction, fertility, and menstruation cycles within the female body. One study showed that alternate day fasting during the extended period of time that lasts between three and six months may adversely impact the female reproductive system, possibly contributing to fertility-related issues. The stress response in female subjects were also heightened during this prolonged period of alternate day fasting. In a study conducted among young laboratory rats, it was found that the intermittent fasting protocol had a significant impact on the ability of the study subjects to reproduce. The scientists behind the study mentioned that the reason for this might be the changes in the hypothalamus hypophysial gonadal axis in the body that occur. Women can still benefit from intermittent fasting, but it is advised that they do not extend the fasting periods too much and still consume an adequate number of calories during the eating window. It is also generally advised that women do not fast too frequently. One study looked at how intermittent fasting would affect women with two different plans. In one plan, women were following a fasting plan that also reduced their daily caloric intake by 25%. In the other group, women were asked to undergo a 75% reduction in their daily caloric intake for two days each week. The 25% calorie reduction group was referred to as the continuous energy restriction group, whereas the other group was called the intermittent energy restriction group. Following the study period, no side effects were noted among women who had a daily restriction on their calorie intake. Side effects were, however, noted by those who had a more significant restriction in their daily caloric intake on two days of the week. The female body does not seem to respond well to such significant cutbacks on calorie intake. 
Thus, following an intermittent fasting diet that requires a less substantial reduction in calories consumed on a daily basis might be a better approach for women compared to undergoing a more restrictive fast for a few days each week. While fasting does have numerous benefits, such as activation of autophagy and even the ability to improve stem cell regeneration, women who follow a traditional intermittent fasting plan without the right modifications may experience some adverse effects. Significant and frequent calorie restriction in the female body can lead to hormonal disruptions and other issues. These are important factors that women should take into account if they wish to try out an intermittent fasting plan. Please let me and the community know in the comment section below if you or if you know somebody, a female that has experienced these types of symptoms while they're fasting, whether for good or for bad. Also, don't hesitate to ask any further questions about fasting. Keep it locked here with Dr. Legrand by clicking on the subscribe button right here. For more things on autophagy, check out this playlist right here. If you want to know more about fasting, check out this playlist right here. Thank you for watching, and until next time, this is Dr. Legrand signing out. Bye.